In this video, we'll be building a piston-based parachute ejection system for the rocket. A few of the parts that we'll be using are 3D printed. If you want to do this yourself and have access to a 3D printer, the files for download are in the description below. The two 3D printed parts are the coupler bulkhead and the piston bulkhead. These are pretty simple designs, so if you don't have a 3D printer, you can probably build some yourself. As you might have guessed, the coupler bulkhead goes in the body tube coupler, and the piston bulkhead goes in a separate body tube coupler, which will turn into a piston that will eject the parachutes. Starting with the coupler bulkhead, we're going to sand the edges that need to be glued so they stick a little better. Next, we'll secure a U-bolt to the coupler bulkhead. This part needs to be metal because it sustains a whole lot of shock. The rocket's going to be hanging from this on the way down. We'll put the U-bolt through the two holes in the coupler bulkhead, with the plate on the other side, and then we'll screw it all together. Make sure these things are nice and tight because we don't want them coming loose. I'll do one more test fit of the coupler bulkhead into the coupler, and then once we're ready, we'll glue it all together. I used a pretty generous amount of medium CA super glue to do this. Once that's done, we'll set this coupler aside to let it dry, and we'll start work on the piston. As mentioned earlier, the body coupler will function as our piston. This part needs to slide really freely through the airframe, so we need to cut down the diameter a little bit. We'll cut the tube lengthwise with the hobby knife. That way, when we fold it over itself, it can fit the piston bulkhead perfectly. But before we can attach the piston bulkhead, we need to lock down the diameter of the piston itself. I'll do this again with the same super glue from before. Once done, I'll wipe away some excess glue and then set it down to let it dry. After the piston has dried, we can take the piston bulkhead out because that's the part we're going to glue next. Just like with the coupler bulkhead, we're going to sand the surfaces down first, and then we're going to insert the shock cord through the piston bulkhead. This shock cord is about two meters long. As a general rule, you want to cut your shock cord about two or three times the length of the vehicle. Now we'll thread the shock cord through the piston bulkhead. It's okay if this isn't totally airtight, but it should be close. Then finally, we can attach the piston bulkhead to the piston using a generous amount, again, of medium superglue. After it's dry, we need to attach two quick links, one to each end of the shock cord. We'll tie these together using something called a Duncan or uni knot. Here's how it works. First, thread a decent amount of shock cord through the first quick link. Thread that extra shock cord over itself and the other part of it a few times. I'm pretty bad at describing how knots work, so if you want a better demonstration, there's a link in the description down below. The last part of this knot is to just pull on it, and now it should be ready to take the weight of the rocket. Now we'll do the exact same on the top part of the shock cord. This is the part that's going to connect to the nose cone and the parachutes. You should now have quick links on either end of your shock cord. The bottom will connect to the body coupler, and the top will connect to an eye bolt, which will be part of the nose cone. We won't put the whole thing together yet, because that happens in the next video.